Welcome back to the channel. It's story time. And we're going to have a little bit of a scary story. The myth of the Kelpie. So, we're going to watch a little clip to learn more about the Kelpie. And then talk about a story. Scottish folklore tells of the Kelpie, a malevolent water spirit believed to inhabit every lake and stream, and a death omen if seen. According to the lore, Kelpies usually appear in the shape of a beautiful horse, but may also assume the form of a hirsute man or a beautiful young woman. The standard form taken by a Kelpie is equine, a clue to its true identity would be its mane and tail, perpetually wet even on the driest of days. As horses, they appear on lake shores and river banks, grazing peacefully and luring travelers to mount them. Once the rider has mounted, they are mystically attached to the Kelpie, who will then plunge into the water and drown the helpless victim. Once their victim has lost their life, the Kelpie tears them apart and eats them, aside from the liver. When in the form of a horse, a Kelpie sometimes has a magical bridle. Should a person gain hold of the bridle, they gain control of the Kelpie. Kelpies, though, are not horses. A famous Scottish folktale, the Kelpie and the Ten Children, where a Kelpie lures nine children onto its back. It chases after the tent. The child strokes its nose with his finger and becomes stuck fast. He manages to cut off his finger and escapes while the other children are dragged into the water never to be seen again. Oh my goodness, that's scary. So the Kelpie is not a very nice um, creature. Is a Kelpie considered a fae? I'm not sure. What do you think? Or a f considered a fae creature? But yeah, I've heard tales of Someone being able to capture the bridle and forcing the Kelpie to grant it a wish or a boon. But, yeah, that is horrible. And I wonder, um, tales like this usually have some, I really believe folk tales have something to do with some real thing. It may be a warning tale. Is it just to warn people, to children, to stay away from the edges of the water because they might get in and drown? Or was there actually maybe a creature, an animal, that might would actually take children from the edge of the water? A lot of places they have legends that may um, actually point toward dangerous animals. Like... If this was an area that had crocodiles or alligators that may actually grab a person and drag them into the water, I could see that. But Scotland doesn't have alligators or crocodiles, to my knowledge. So, what kind of creature could this tale be a warning against? I don't know. If you have ideas, put them in the comments. Let me let me know. I'm, I'm very interested. Um what it could be warning us against and it's so sad that it has to be such a beautiful creature everyone loves well, i think everyone loves horses i mean they're beautiful and if you saw a beautiful horse at the edge of the water grazing first thing you think of is oh he's gotten loose um i need to help him get back to his owner and you could definitely be tempted to go over and try to catch him and apparently from the tales, I mean, some say you have to actually mount the horse and get on its back to get captured. But that tale of the ten children, that one child just touched him and became stuck. So, if you actually touched his head to try to catch him, could you be stuck 
and drug into the water. So that is a scary tale. So if you have any other information about the, today's story, please let me know. Um, if you've heard any Kelpie stories, scary or otherwise. So I don't think the Kelpie's ever been reported as being a nice entity. It's always something to fear. So that was a scary story. We might do more scary stories the closer we get to Halloween. We'll see how that goes. But thank you for joining me for story time. And I will see you next week.